We're here together under God's gospel eye. Mary, Andrew, and Sandra in marriage today. The Bible teaches that marriage is to be a permanent relationship of one man and one woman, freely and totally committed to one another as companions for life. Our Lord declares that man shall leave his father and mother and unite with his wife in the building of a home, and the two shall become one flesh. Who gives the right? Okay. Right. The home is built upon love, which is portrayed in the 13th chapter of Paul's first letter of Corinthians, and it reads as this. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. It is not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrong, but rejoices at right. Love bears all things, believes all things, and hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. So faith, hope, abide, these three, but the greatest of these are love. Marriage is a companionship which has involved mutual commitment and responsibilities which you two will share the responsibilities and joys of life. When companionship share a sorrow, the sorrow is half. And when it shares joy, the joy is double. Let's bow our heads and pray. O Lord of life and love, restore your grace upon this marriage and seal this commitment with your children with your love. As you have brought them together by your divine, your divine presence, sanctity, and sanctify them by your spirit, that they may give themselves fully to one another and to you. Give them strength and patience to live their lives in a manner that is mutually blessing themselves and honoring your holy name, through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. They both have prepared uh, some free vows. I wouldn't be the dress. <laughs> 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 
Everybody please stand. Get your son. 